So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how can we um, go about some analysis of this data. So I'll talk about peak detection as well as selecting the peaks and integrating them. Um, so the first things first, when I want to do my analysis, the first thing I'm going to do is set dark regions. Now, dark regions essentially tell the software not to analyze anything within those regions. And there are two very simple ways that we can set dark regions. So the first way to do that is if you follow my mouse really quickly, um, you'll see my mouse cursor is in yellow with this red line. To the left of this line, you should see a faint gray line. If I hover over that gray line here, you'll see that uh, my cursor changes to these black double arrows. So if I simply just click and I drag across the area I want to exclude and let go, you'll see that it's automatically creating this dark region. Now I can do this again for the tail end of our chromatogram. So I'm gonna bring my cursor over. You'll notice that to the right, there's that faint gray line. I'm just going to hover over that section. I'm going to click, drag, and release my mouse. And you'll see that now we have that um, region generated. So if I were to do automatic processing, which I will do very shortly, um, it'll process everything within this white window and exclude everything in the dark regions. Another way to create the dark regions is to go into analysis here. And we have this option that says set data analysis region. So I'm just going to click that and it'll open up a box. So you can read through what this box says. You know, it says you can click and drag to get the regions you want to analyze, or you can hold control and select it like that. You can also simply just type it in a specific way. So for example, if I want my data analysis to start um, at five minutes, I can put five. If I follow that by two periods and I want the window to be between five and 20, I do that and you'll see as I type that in, it updates in the chromatogram window. So I'm just going to click OK. And that is how we set our data analysis region. The next thing I want to walk you through is the three different types of peak detection um, that we have. So the first method is the automatic peak detection. It's very quick. Um, so peak detection is found right at the bottom on our toolbar, and it's the first button here with the cog. It says signal analysis. So when I click this button, it automatically picks all of the peaks within this area, and it integrates all of them. Now you'll also notice that there are a lot of labels on these peaks, and let's say this is just more information than you need. What you can do is toggle the labels on and off. And to do so, you would just go up to view up here in the toolbar. You'll just head over down to labels. And you'll see that all of these different label um, are checked. So for example, if I don't really care to see the peak area values, I can simply deselect that. And you'll see that that information is now off of my screen. And of course, if you want that back there, you can just head back into labels. And you can simply just select whatever um, fits your workflow and whatever you need specifically. So that's our first way of doing data analysis. It's really fast, everything's integrated, whatever's in this region. So I'm going to undo this so we can start again. The second thing I want to show you is the second way to do it. It's through peak level or through like a threshold essentially. So I'm going to select this and you'll see now with my mouse, we have this horizontal line. And essentially, if I were to click my mouse, so if I click my mouse right now, essentially what the software is doing is picking any peak that's above this threshold I'm setting. So if I were to lower my mouse to about here and I click, you'll see that I have these four peaks selected because those are the only peaks above the threshold. And you'll also notice that this peak was above the threshold but because we set that dark region, um, it's not capturing that information or processing um, this section of the chromatogram. So very simple, like I said, we can just you know, select all of those peaks like so. And then if you click the button again, it turns off that option. So the final way 
to um, go about the peak selection and detection is by doing it peak by peak. So if I were to click this button right here, it says peak by peak. Um, I can simply select the peaks I want chosen and integrated, just like so. Um, and so this gives me, um, you know, a lot more control over what is being selected. Now, for example, let's say you have done just the automatic analysis. So I've I've pulled up the automatic analysis like that. Um, but let's say there are certain peaks that I don't want selected. You can simply just click the peaks you don't want selected or integrated, um, as long as you have the peak by peak tool activated. Another thing that I'll mention is, so I'm going to just zoom in really quickly just to show you. Um, you'll notice that when I zoomed in, a new panel showed up. Um, this is the zoom area region. I'm going to close this panel. I don't use it too, op um, too often, but you can always get it back and I'll show you where in a second. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Um, what I wanted to show you with the peak detection peak by peak tool is that you'll see if I hover over um, this specific peak, we have this red box and we have these double arrows at the end of it. So if I hover over that, I can click and drag and select how much of this peak I want integrated. So you can really start fine tuning um, your, um, your data and what you want analyzed specifically. So I'm going to zoom back out. And that is essentially how we kind of go about um, doing this processing. So I showed you the three methods. We have the automatic version, we have this peak level threshold version, and we have this manual peak by peak version.